Should we get this started? How's everyone doing this morning? You too, eh? All right. I'm not alone. Good. Uh, my name is Justin Brown. I've been open source. I've worked previously as an open source intelligence analyst. I am now a information assurance analyst at a large company down in uh, Salt Lake City. Again, all, all these things are my own. None of my employer. Um, new information, things change. All research comes on my own time with my own resources. This is just a standard disclaimer because employer doesn't like me saying where I work and fun stuff like that. Um, when have an undergrad in management infosec from or management info systems from Baylor. So, reach Dr. Vaughn if anybody know know him. Um, yeah, I used to work at that company where the guy may or may not have made a plane go sideways. So, I will not answer questions about that because f him. So, briefly, background on open source intel. Well, you know, why we collect, what we, what we collect, where to collect, how to collect. So, why we collect? Because we want data, information, knowledge, intel, wisdom. Because that's kind of the work, workflow of, hey, we've got all this information to sift through, or all this data to sift through, we have to turn into information, that becomes knowledge. That, we hand that over and make it actionable to our employers and to our businesses, and that becomes wisdom so we can make better decisions. So what? We collect all the things. Uh, previous jobs, it was not uncommon to have mirrors of everything that was posted to the internet. Um, in particular, most of the pay sites. Uh, they do get watched, um, not just by the government agencies, but by various people who work in intelligence in fields. There are a number of companies that actually perform this, this as a service and sell it out as Threat Intel and some other various names. So where? Well, we're gonna go check out some places like GitHub, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and your everyone's favorite government records because they like keeping records on what you do and where you are in the world. So, how we do it? We're doing screen scrapes, we'll do screenshots. We're gonna document on all the things as much as we can and we're gonna show some stuff that we can pull with Google and various other tools and scripts. For the most part, this talk is going to end up being demos because we're gonna have some fun. So, again, demos. If I can get this working, look on the other screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, which one is it? Why am I blanking on full screen and the Mac? It is the green. Which one? Ah, whatever. So, first thing we're going to pick on because I'm evil. And this will load. Is all right. Who wants to go find some badges? Anybody want an Apple badge? So here's all the pictures that have been taken at Apple, in and around Apple for the last few years. That have all been posted with geo geotags on on to Instagram, and these nice guys at worldc.am are nice enough to have an API hook that lets you do locations around the world. So it's going to take a few, a little bit to get down there. So yeah. So spoiler alert: I've done some. Recon. Um, 
Thanks, Sergio. Like, let's see, when was this posted? About a year ago? Oh, hey, exactly 63 weeks ago. So here we have a recent badge at Apple. We know layout, colors, how the pictures are done. So if you want to become Steve Jobs, like my friend in the back there, you grab one of these. Or if you just want to see if you can wander around campus, you can print off one of those. You'll stop when you see the other one. Thanks, dude. All those five S's. Get another badge for visitors, more visitor badges. Gold. One more. Oh, must be two. Oh, hi. Thanks, Lauren. So, thanks for the intel. I now know name, where you work, or where, where you pick location from. Uh, then you have all your friends who go, hey, are you working at corporate now? And the response back, no, just visiting. But we saw earlier that's the corporate badge that we found before. So the only difference is, hey, the little, they, they've changed the little Apple logo colors. Maybe there's different things. So that's, uh, some picks. <laughs> that's us just picking, picking on them just because, well, we can. So, so, what else do we have going on today? Ooh, yay, yeah, get up. The other fun part is because for 600 bucks, well, you need to make a badge, and it only costs you 600 bucks to grab one of these, and now you can make all the badges you want as long as you got ink and as long as you got the paper. So, 600 bucks, decent investment, and if you're a red teamer uh, for uh, consulting and you want to print badges to make sure you look legit, there's your answer. Um, so, also, GitHub, it's great. Um, I love it when places do stuff like this. And by this we mean static hash with the password and the, oh hey, we're using SHA-256. So you load up your favorite cracker, you also give it the algorithm and what they're using to salt everything with. Hey, you steal the password database. A few hours later, you probably have the password database in clear text. So it's not about overthinking the problem. It's about figuring out what you need to solve the issue that you have at hand. Yes, my clients hated me when I when I handed them those sent reports. Has anyone has anyone in this room seen or heard about? need a debit card or need a credit card on Twitter. There's a whole Twitter account that's dedicated to people posting pictures of their credit cards online. Full numbers, CVVs, everything. 
example. Yes, this is the problem. We're kind of bad at user in user education when it comes to securing information because, hey, I can pull up multiple times. Hey, here's my card. Thanks, dude. Yeah. It just becomes unfun after a while and feels like you're just, you're, you're playing uh, clubbing baby seals. Um, so hopefully, I'm still logged into one of my other accounts. So I had a Mark. Mark's awesome. He, he's friends with some people from Anonymous. Just, just gonna throw that out there. He, yet he has, doesn't exist, and no one has ever seen him. Nor does he have a picture. So, hey, oh. This guy is hilarious. Uh, this guy claimed about a, see, two and a half years ago, he was part of the Al-Qaeda Electronic Army and as part of the Tunisian Cyber Army. We helped track him down, and he disappeared for about a month off, off, of, off of being online. He came back with a new Twitter account that became Fami CCA. That one hasn't tweeted anything since December last year, but it's nice to know that, that Fami is still alive and kicking around because, hey, we want to know who the guys are that are claiming, hey, I'm part of Al Qaeda. Well, yeah, I know that. And you attacked some stuff that was some other, some other banks and some other information that was pertinent to somebody. Yeah, he disappeared off the grid for about a month by the two. Um, I remember we did some work for it. But it took a month for the U.S. government agencies to figure out who was going to get the collar on the guy. Once that got settled, he disappeared for another month. When he came back on, he was back up and having some fun. Um, and has basically been doing research on um, performing public uh, proof of concept codes on XSS and various other other tactics or other like, other simple web uh, web application attacks, and he's found in some really big stuff. So he's been getting some some props from various vendors as hey, thanks for doing your research or doing the research, and so he's gotten some props from more from some other groups. Um, has anyone ever used the graph search function in Facebook? So, uh, no? No. All right. Let's see how, let's see if we can do the... Oh, did they finally deprecate it? Oh, they did. Sad face. So Facebook a API used to use graph search, and you'd be able to do an entire lookup of people who, employees, students, alumni, from something. Actually, it might be. Maybe that's what it is. And this may be closer to it. It's not quite. It. It used to be a lot better and used to be a lot more creepy, to be honest. Yeah, they've changed they've changed the interactions. Yeah, it used to be really creepy because you could look up just about everyone by if you knew first name and where they worked.
changed it. I changed it. And not only is the need a credit card needed to run on Twitter, but it basically should be run on Instagram as well. And this is Instagram's actually built in search that just started adding to their, their website. So it just becomes kind of fun to go, oh, hi, I need a new card, or I need a new TV. Well, okay, maybe not. Right, so where's the other fun stuff that we got going on? How many of you guys know about Google Dorking? One, two, three, four, all right. Handful. Um, that's like, oh wait, that one. That, oh man, that one's new. Do we go play? Do, do we go play? This fun sad face. Maybe on page two. Oh no, there it is. Post, post, post. Oh, did, they turn, did they finally fix this? Oh no. I've been poking this one for a little while, and they it used to actually bring up the whole admin panel. And that was quite creepy because you can now add documents to a court case going live and various other records. And it's just kind of sad to go. We still live in a world where they allow. For, they allow programmers to post stuff via Git without authentication to say, hey, I'm an admin now. And yes, it's in URL, quote, admin equals false, end quote. And that kind of, that will end up getting you pretty much set up for a lot of fun stuff when you're poking po around the net. Uh, the exploit database, exploit DB, has the awesome thing of, hey, here's all the exploits, here's web exploits, Prevesk, now service, archives, but also holds the Google Hacking Database, which I'm Which give you fun, some fun things like these. We're looking for, basically, when we do these searches, we're looking for information disclosure. We're looking for stuff that's hanging out online that our employers, the companies we're being contracted with, probably don't want exposed to the internet. And it gets kind of fun to go, well, hi. Let's be, let's be friends. Is that bad? Master password? Master pass to BB? Dan, is that bad? 
Yeah. And there's pages of this stuff hanging out on the net, waiting for someone to come in and break in. We have a pro the problem we have is we have this problem with information disclosure. We have people who don't understand the information they're, they're putting out online does mean something to somebody. And whether it's a very small board, you still you probably still have people's data in there. That's a very large organization. It's you're now dealing with millions of you're you're now dealing with a bunch of people's information hanging out online, waiting for you to for anyone to come by and go, well, hi, let's have fun. So yes, Google finds passwords a lot, actually. So for a lot of people who don't know, the pipe in Google is the or command. So you're telling it, look for these things, look for password, pass, or PW. Oh man, really? Yeah. We're having some fun. What other fun do we want to see? Do you want to go crush a company? No? No one wants to volunteer companies from the audience? This is, this is terrible. Okay. You're going to force me into this, aren't you? Thanks, Lauren. Sergio. Oh man, like, I did kill my Adobe badge. Uh oh, I'm gonna go back. Another sponsor, I'm sure it's one of you two guys are in here. But your people are really nice taking pictures up, up by the rock out front. We gotta go back a while. Because I think this was posted five months ago. We're at two months right now. Those are tickets. Friend. It was Friend's last day, by the way, when he posted this, so I guess they can't do anything about it now. Badges, always fun. Oh, it's official now. Anybody figure he still works there? Thanks, John. Um, I'd go more into LinkedIn hacking, 
but I think, believe there was a talk earlier this week that covered what's a better pen testing tool, LinkedIn or InMap, and basically going over different LinkedIn. The information exposure that you have on LinkedIn is pretty bad. It, I haven't even done a look for my employer. I don't want to, because I know I'm going to find stuff I don't want to know about. So I'll blame James. Harvester is great. I don't have it installed locally on the Mac. It's, I got it in one of my VMs. But uh, so fun, fun, fun things. When I was doing the previous work, we ended up doing uh, we ended up doing some stuff with um, doing information polls for various companies. And what this was is we went we went looking for information that we could just quick hit so we could find. So, norm so one of the places I worked at, it was normally running stuff through Harvester. I then take that list, or I also run the company through Multigo, looking for email addresses, then actually grabbing the list from Harvester, throwing it into Multigo, and pivoting it again for more addresses. And that usually netted about 20 to 50% more addresses for each company that we were looking at. And it was just kind of like, shouldn't these like be the same lists? But they check different things. They check just a little bit different. So you end up finding new different things uh, from because how where they're checking from. Um, Altigo is run by Paterva, which is out of South Africa. So you and Google does do some location-based uh, targeting of where when you make queries, where it's going. So it does look a little. It does change the output a little bit differently. Where I proved, one of the places I previously worked, we were actually, our proxy was out of the Europe. So we actually had a bunch of stuff get blocked by EU, EU privacy laws. And that was kind of like that moment where you realize, I think the EU actually understands privacy better than we do. Um, that's the other fun, fun that my other side to this is privacy is not dead, but because of how much we share, it might as well be. It, we, we go online, we start sharing stuff about where we are, who we're friends with, with, and we just start building a profile about who the various people that work at our company. So, yeah, I want to know that Bob from accounting is big into fishing. That's how I'm going to run a spearfish campaign against him. Knowing the, what, what is pertinent to the people that work in your organization helps you build a better fishing scheme, better spearfishing scheme for the deployment if you're doing internal testing, you're doing external testing. You need to do this stuff because it is some of the basics of, and legwork of how we do this work. Any other questions? Man, it's 9.30 in the morning. I know. I've been up since 3.30. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm looking forward to a Sunday at work after this. Yes. Banking customers do. But, uh, so, like I said, we, uh, I don't know how often we see cards posted to the net, but I know it happens every so often. Um, the other big one that happens a lot is us doing, uh, let's see, I know we've also seen credentials passed, and that's usually the other thing is we'll find people who are infected uh, pretty common, and if memory serves, we are pretty good about it. It's, I don't know about, uh, I know some of, the, some of the organizations, when they see credentials that belong to clients that are pwned, they are pretty good about being active, being proactive and notifying those clients about where, um, that credentials have been pwned and helping them through that process. It just kind of depends on where you, how much work you got, your team wants to do. And if you have people outside your organization looking for those kinds of things and helping push information through 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 your security staff, through compliance, through the through the consumer group, 
sometimes they, they, you get all these groups to work together. A lot of times they're very siloed and it's very hard to get them all to work together. And if you're coming in as an external consultant, you may only interface with, with one part of security. You don't interface with the rest of the security group and you don't realize that, oh hey, to get this done, there's five other groups that do this, that all of that need this information and that's a lot of, a lot of paper trail and a lot of work for us to do. So it just kind of depends on the maturity of, of the groups and how much they want to care and help their, help their, their customers out. Nobody? Oh, man. Can we go attack some more stuff or do we want to just say we're good and we everyone gets a half hour back? Let's go have some more fun. All right. Let's go fishing, right? Yeah. Kind of. So what do I want to go? What do I want to go hit? Anybody? Oh, where did it? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? GitHub search. Should we? Should we? UEN? UEN? Anybody from UEN here? Don't acknowledge that. Oh. But, there, there's, but there's code. Oh. Not going to be quite as fun, is it? No. But hey, here's people passing stuff. Anderson here. Dan, you here. All right, in that case, we have to have some fun with Dan's group. I know I'm an evil, evil person. Yay, pictures of patients. Yay, things. I've looked at hospitals before. This is always fun to see. Biohazard, keep, just keep out of reach of children. Can we take, keep this away from the camera, please? This might be HQ, I, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Dan's not here to confirm, so I, I don't know. But hey, you know, thanks, Windows Box. Dude, I'm new here. I've only lived here for four months. I'm only presenting because because Mr. Pope in the back said, "Hey, you should have, you should you should present." Thanks, Christy. And 
you wasn't going to badge. You want to go to ISG, have some fun. Or, uh, oh, sorry, IMG. This one always cracks me up when you look at hospitals and there, there's the snack room. Or, the, oh, sorry, the, the break room snack machine. Oh, they actually have decent stuff. I've had, I've had places that had the, the whole um, stickers, Reese's, you name it, it's there. some fun stuff over there. I can either confirm or deny that my office is pseudo close to it. Yeah, I didn't dig on a Rocky Mountain Power or our friends over in I discover. Which one? Oh. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that I had to do an entire open source intelligence support on a certain data center down in Bluffdale for a previous employer. Actually, hold oh, please. something for that. So these guys apparently were doing a documentary, and they got pulled over after a pass of the place. So there's the data center, there's the cop in the rearview mirror. Data center, cop. They don't like it when you drive by several times, apparently. Yeah, you know, you know, these guys are good at their job, apparently. I don't know, I used to work with a guy who was actually going to say, I'm sure he's still out on him. What's the, what, what's the base that's right next to right across the street? There's a set of photos I have uh, in a certain report that were taken around this place. It was all very close to a certain data center. Let's 
it's getting hard. So, what else should we pick up? Anyone? Anyone? No? No more picking on people? <laughs> you just want to get me in trouble. No, the next question is, which Wells Fargo do you want? Do you want HQ, or do you, or do you want the HQ on the west side of the country, or the east side of the country, or do you want the the, the, the office that's here in town, or the office that's in Denver, or? Someone downtown. Ooh, anybody want an office? Apparently, that's, you know, work at Wells Fargo, you get to your offices like that, apparently. That's not right. That looks better, right? I, I used to work for two guys who were at Wells, and they were pretty, actually, they cracked down on people posting stuff. So there may not be too much here. Just a heads up. But it's always nice to see when, hey, there's the whole gang. Thanks, guys. Oh, no. We got a badge, and we got keys. somebody <sighs> yes this is what it's like to be an open source intelligence analyst you look you search through lots and lots of pages of nothing to find something that says oh hi I'm a friend Use me. It's dangerous out there. Take this. That's it. 
Bon. Some shoes for all you people who like shoes. Yes, the vault again. This one's for you, James. Yeah. Yeah, this one's definitely a corporate office downtown. Contact me. I'm at Spritel11 on Twitter. On Freenode, I switch between Spritel and Spritel11 depending on if I'm at work or at home or various other things, depending on which, which accounts currently logged in. So, any other questions? No? Have a good day. Enjoy the conference. We'll talk to everyone soon.